Greetings, Ascended Nation. So I'm coming to you with a quick um, ancestor reading, gods and goddesses reading, okay? So if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I greatly and truly appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into this message. So the first, I did use my Egyptian um, gods and goddesses, uh, oracle, okay, I did use my Egyptian tarot as well, and then I clarified the Egyptian tarot with more, um, with a different tarot deck, okay, and I did use my mystery jar as well, so let's go ahead and get into this message. Sorry, I had to turn that frequency down. All right, so... The first card we have here is Mayat, all right? Goddess of truth, justice, and order, okay? So the first card that we have to clarify this uh, to the message, okay, is the Six of Chalices, all right? So something significant here about pleasant recollections, okay? Useful second thoughts, all right? Relief brought by simple persons or things, okay? So I feel like... Uh, my eye is definitely bringing you some sort of justice, okay? That's the energy I'm getting off of this card. Some sort of truth could also be significant. And establishing order is significant here too, okay? The next card that we had to come out um, for my eye is the Queen of Swords, okay? So definitely all about truth, all about justice, okay? Unbiased judgment, clear boundaries, okay, is significant. Um, direct communication, clear-minded and perceptive. Okay, so you could be getting some sort of clarity when it pertains to uh, surrounding some sort of truth. Okay, some sort of um, justice or judicial situation could be significant. Someone here could also be a Libra. Okay, as well. So from the mystery jar, we had within a car. Okay, so there could be something surrounding um, something could be significant about travel, okay, with this within the car, okay, or something could be taking place or something took place when it surrounds a car or a vehicle, okay? Following that, we have angel number 1077. Okay, so angel number 1077 is significant for least, neither, no, none, not, and it also could symbolize celebration, Okay, so any of these, um, something could be significant about someone without a car or not in a car, or this could be a sign maybe someone could be inviting you somewhere and, you, and you're being told not to go, okay, or this could symbolize maybe you're not um, traveling by car, okay, so that could be significant as well also, okay, hold on y'all. Because, let me see what this is symbolizing. I don't want to feel like a cliffhanger. I just saw the mask card. So, yes, something could be significant about that. Because I just saw the mask. So, something deceptive could be significant. This would be past, present, or future energy. Okay, so, um, we got the blessing card, though. So, well-being, fulfillment, and light, man, and my back is itching. Um, I don't know. You could be not traveling by car because this is saying blessing. What is the blessing, Holy Spirit? Live and learn. It says experience, training, development. Okay, so yes, yeah, something could be surround you having to maybe travel somewhere for some sort of training maybe. Okay, or to or for teaching. Okay, so that could be significant here. All right. Or something could surround maybe a court case as well. Okay, I'm hearing that too. So next from the mystery jar, we have angel number 3824. This talks about heart, mind, soul, understanding. Okay, so some sort of understanding. Um, more about that clarity. Okay, and unbiased judgment I'm getting to. Then we have Mallard. Okay, it says positive light, beauty, grace, and adaptability. Okay, so yes, this is giving me that energy. Like I said, you could be having to travel. This could surround work. 
okay? And my yacht is saying, um, due to the fact you hold some sort of positive light, you hold some sort of grace, okay? And it's something that you will be able to adapt to. You are adaptable, okay? You can adapt to any situation, okay? So next we have men yet, okay? So um, goddess of war, form war, took the form of a lioness, okay? So with this energy, we have the star card, all right? So you could be someone who is in the public eye in, in some way, shape, or form, okay? Um, but the star card from the Egyptian oracle talks about faith, hope, inspired grace, good and favorable omen, happy conclusion, good results, brilliant ideas, effective advice, uninterested help, okay? So yes, like I said, it's something significant here about you helping, you teaching, okay? Something like that. So to further clarify this star card energy, we have the six of Pentacles, all right. A Taurus energy could be significant. That does give leadership, okay. Taurus energy definitely gives some sort of leadership, all right. Some sort of values, some sort of priorities, okay. Your job and your work ethic could be significant here too, okay. Um, and also it's uh talks about Venus too, okay, with values, beauty, and love, okay. So, um, giving and receiving could be significant. Some sort of balance is coming in for you, okay? Also, something could be significant here about balance when it pertains to, like, foreign relations. I'm hearing that, too, or something like that, okay? Charity, sharing is significant, okay? Gifts, fairness, presence, prosperity, and abundance, okay? So, it just sounds like the me collective that you have a lot to share with the world, okay? So, from... The mystery jar oracle we have why okay so we, we I may have to clarify the why then we have angel number seventy two eleven y'all has seen okay following that we have closure okay so some sort of closure okay it could have been uh something that uh people didn't want to bring you some sort of closure. Okay, because that closure is coming out in reverse, or it could just be revealing something. And we have sunset. Okay, so like closing out something I'm hearing too with sunset. Okay, um, let me clarify the why card. What is this why magnet? Okay, so a collaboration. So y'all has y'all seen a collaboration? Okay, some sort of collaboration y'all has seen. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what other type of way to say it. Okay, whatever this was, it could have been a collaboration to try to trap you because we have collaboration and then we have the trap card. Okay, but people could have trapped themselves as well. Okay, they could have trapped themselves. This is something that could have backfired. Okay, also something about closure. Okay, when it pertains to this collaboration could be significant. Okay, maybe even a because we got closure and we got trap. Okay, that's giving me some sort of closed in energy. If y'all, if y'all, you know, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. So, yes, that's what I'm getting. Okay, something could be significant here about sunset as well. Okay, you could be someone who likes to watch the sunset. Okay, also, someone could be asking themselves why when it comes to like some sort of closure. Okay, something like that. Okay, so next we have Dynasty card. All right, so we have Dynasty um, 27, okay, 525 to 404 BC. This is the Persian Dynasty, okay. Um, I think it's pronounced Achmanid Dynasty. Egypt was conquered by the Persians, okay. <clears throat> Cambyses crowned himself as Pharaoh, okay? So that time frame or that time period could be significant. I was shuffling my cards and this card kept flipping over. Then finally I was shuffling some more because I just was going to get, you know, the gods and messages from the gods and the goddesses, but this card wanted to come out, all right? So something could be heavily significant about this time period, but the first card we have is the Eight of Wands, all right? So... 
In the Egyptian Tarot, the Eight of Wands talks about initiative, undertaking activity, developing of this activity, speed, great hurry, great hope, strain towards a goal, okay? So something could be significant here about your perseverance, okay? Your vitality could also be significant. I was picking up a, like some sort of past life um, battle, okay? I was definitely picking up a past life battle, and we did have the Six of Cups to pop out, okay? But to further clarify this Eight of Wands, we have the Sun, Okay, so it says positivity, pleasure, happiness, like I said, vitality, okay. Um, someone here could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have it heavy in your chart. We have fun, joy, warmth, celebration, success, okay, rebirth, all is well, okay. So with that celebration, like I said, I'm getting some sort of like conquering, okay. That's what I'm hearing, all right. So following that, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles talks about useful, helpful, okay, salacious, all right, responsible, honest person, all right? So something could be significant here about someone who is in this sun energy, this Knight of Pentacles, okay? So something about that, some sort of celebration could be significant here too, okay? So next we have the Two of Swords, all right? A Libra energy could be significant, okay? But um, maybe there is some sort of confusion when it pertains to this victory, okay? That's what I'm hearing, all right? Some sort of information overload could also be significant, all right? Someone could have released something here as well, okay? Release some sort of confusion, release some sort of worry as well, okay? Delays could be removed also or could have been removed, okay? Some sort of stagnation could have been removed also, I'm hearing, okay? So to further clarify this, we have the Knight of Pentacles, all right? Someone here could be a Virgo energy, all right? Something could be, uh, be significant about um, the fruits of your labor, okay? You being in some sort of comfort, all right? Rewards could be significant. You being content, all right, is significant. Plentiful as well and financial stability also, all right? Someone could be confused by this, okay? This could also be a Knight of Pentacles maybe, who is confused by this, okay? And I don't know why I just heard like a alarm sound. So that's confirmation, okay? I think it was my other phone. So next we have pen, uh, the three of pentacles, okay? So this talks about celebrity, uh, glory, acquired nobility, skill, trade, uh, magistral ability, okay? So something could be significant here about a past life because like I said, we have the six of cups here, okay? It says familiar familiarity, okay, happy memories, reminiscing childhood memories, innocence, joy, nostalgia, okay, so something could be significant here about some sort of like past life memories, okay, maybe some sort of um, you being like held in high honor maybe in a past life, okay, you could be this Knight of Pentacles energy or you could be, um, well, you could be in this Knight of Pentacles energy, okay, or this uh, Nine of Pentacles, okay? So, from the uh, Mystery Jar, we have Summer, okay? So, something is significant about the Summer. Summer Sunset could be significant as well. All right, following that, we have Feminine, okay? So, definitely, um, I could be talking to a Feminine or something is significant about a Feminine, okay? Something could be significant about your feminine energy. And my stomach just growled when I said that. So what you don't see could be significant. Okay, so something about what you don't see. Following that, we have 1042. Okay, so this says Temple of Anat. Okay, Judah. Elevated platform. Okay, so like I said, you could have could be someone who was held in high honor. Okay, I'm getting that off of that. Or you could be on a platform too, okay? Then we have reserved, okay? So you could be a feminine who is like reserved, okay? I'm getting that as well. Following that, we have angel number 1002. This says castle, palace, anything, anyone of great strength, okay? And I just heard rewards, okay? With this nine of pentacles energy, and then we have eyes on the prize, okay? So you're definitely focused. That's that sun energy. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So next we have newts. Okay. So sky goddess arched over heaven. Okay. So the messages we have here from newts are the magician. Okay. So you could be manifesting at this time. Okay. Or something is significant about your manifestations. Okay. So it says initiative, skill, ability, a suit, a <clears throat> astucheness or astoucheness or something like that, y'all. Diplomacy, um, spirit of initiative and refusal of any suggestion and prejudice, beginning of new enterprises, okay? So something new here, okay? Like I said, manifestation energy, okay? So whatever this is, people are fighting because we have the five of wands, all right? Someone here could be a Leo energy or it's just be in some fiery energy, okay? Um, I don't know why I just heard roughneck. <laughs> I don't know why I just heard roughneck. I guess that's who new is saying roughneck energy. My guys are saying some sort of roughneck energy, okay? But um something about competition, debates, rivalry, conflict, disagreement, strife, tension, um, territorial clashing, egos, petty. Okay, so yeah. Then we have the Queen of Swords, okay, from the Egyptian Oracle. So from the Egyptian Oracle, the Queen of Swords speaks of someone who is um, widowhood, okay, sadness, difficult feminine situation, all right, absence, sterility, mourning, deprivation, and partition, okay? So I ask, you know, my guys to clarify this Queen of Swords, so, and this could be someone too, would it fall on top of this five of wands? This could be someone who wants to be in competition with you in some way, shape or form. Okay. But, um, we did have the three of cups to come out in reverse. Okay. And remember we had the co uh, collaboration card to come out as well with the, um, what was this with the, within a card energy, I think it was. Okay. So, Confirmation with that car in the back. But anywho, we have overindulgence, heavy partying, isolation, independence, a long time, threes of crowd, and gossip. Okay, so this is describing this Queen of Swords energy, okay, who is in this Five of Wands energy and this Three of Wands energy as well, okay? Someone could also be doing some sort of magic also, okay? So, something could be significant here, too. We have water here. Um, a cancer could be significant. Someone could have cancer and Leo in their chart, okay? So, from the mystery jar, we have 7677, stay on your spiritual path, okay? So, make sure you, you stay on your path no matter what, Okay. Following that, we have black helicopters, all right? This new is the sky goddess, so she watching y'all black helicopters, okay? Following that, we have 6114, disciplined wealthy ruler, okay? And then we have cloud coverage, okay? So like I said, yeah, this is clarifying newts, okay? Sky goddess arched over the heaven, okay? So, definitely watching, all right? So, next we have Wajet, okay? So, the message from Wajet, Wajet ooh, is... First, we have the King of Swords, okay? And y'all know Wajet is Cobra Goddess Protective of the Earth and the Pharaohs, okay? So, the King of Swords in the Egyptian Tarot talks about, uh, hold on y'all because it's different from the regular one. Okay, so it speaks of... Anything deriving from the idea of judgment, okay, power, order, authority, political attitude, law, uh, pre rock prerogative of the crown, okay? So something could be significant here about a, someone ruling with the iron fist, okay, maybe. All right, whomever this uh, king of swords is, this person, we have the hermit in reverse, okay? 
So something could be significant here about um, isolation. Okay, this person could be lonely or alone, feeling loneliness. This person could have withdrawn. Okay, resignation. They could have had to resign from something or from somewhere. Okay, distance. All right, someone could feel as if they have lost their way as well. All right. So to further clarify this, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so someone could be going through some sort of ending. Okay, um, so the Ten of Swords talks about suffering, okay, affliction, tears, sadness, uh, desolation, impossibility of acting. All right, so someone could be like spirit could have someone in some sort of hangman, or someone could be in like spiritual jail or something like that. Okay. Uh, actual jail could be significant too, but then we have the four swords. Okay. So with the 10 of swords and four swords here, that's 14 swords. Okay. Um, someone could be in meditation. Okay. Someone could be maybe resting. Okay. Um, relaxation could be significant here. Okay. Uh, someone could be definitely in some sort of solitude or having to recover from, from something. Okay, so following that, we have the page of swords. Whatever this is, there could be some sort of message or news coming out in reference to this. Okay, someone also could be spying on someone too. Okay, and we have more air energy here, so heavy air energy. Okay, so definitely uh, things surrounding communication. Okay, so some sort of uh, communication, maybe the mind is significant. Okay, social media, the World Wide Web could also be significant. All right, some sort of messages could be significant as well. All right. So from the mystery jar, the messages are um, harp is significant. Okay, so weather control and magic. Okay, so someone is something is significant. I was picking up this energy earlier with um sky events i had when i did my live okay but i could not remember the abbreviation so heavy on that all right that could be significant too for this cloud coverage okay following that we have predictive programming all right false flags and brainwashing why jet is saying okay you are protected Following that, we have Mandela Effect. Damn. So, Wajet is revealing all of this, okay? This is something that could be being directed to the pharaohs, okay? All right? We have discernment, yeah. So, definitely, Wajet is saying to make sure you use your discernment, okay, collective. And then we have yes, okay, so something about a yes, okay, so yeah, whatever she's saying to use your discernment about, okay, you could be getting a yes, okay, or go within, okay, so something could be significant about you having to go within, okay, let me clarify this yes, y'all. Okay, Roger, what is the... I just saw the victory card. Okay. So, let's see. All right. What is the yes? What is this yes, Roger? Okay, so... Something about some sort of conflict. Someone could want to try to... um conflict you i just heard okay some sort of quarrel someone could want to try to fight or they wanted to try to do this okay someone could have been indulging in this because we have an indulgence card okay also i'm getting um this could be something about some self-care as well okay so self-care you are getting a yes okay when it comes to this conflict Okay, then we have a um, endorsement, uh, persuasion, bribe, temptation. So careful of a knight of swords energy. Okay, maybe something surrounding a page of swords. So a uh, younger air sign, older air sign could be significant here when it pertains to some sort of persuasion, bribe, or temptation. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. So that's everything I have for you collective. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll talk to you in the next one.